All right, guys. Um, let's go. Oh. Um. Yeah, as you can see, my bike is still wet because I'm trying to make a couple of vlogs in one go. You know, to keep you all updated. But <laughs> not this updated, but um. Yeah. Um, I could talk about tyres. Now, what do you lot prefer? Because at the moment I've got battle axes, ba battle Bridgestone battle axes on this, and uh, it's due in for a new set of tyres, and it needs a pair really. And uh, I'm going to be using. I've got them on order. Um, Maxis diamonds, because I've been recommended them by a few people. You know, they're not. I don't think they're for the. Uh, for the heavy handed. Go on, I don't think that's for the heavy handed bikers. They like to travel at 180 mile now, my joking. They like to travel at 70 mile an hour everywhere. Um, you know, they're more of a touring tyre, really. And quite frankly, that's what I'm after, you know. Some of that will last a few miles. Uh, like I say, I've got a mate who, uh, he had him, but he's a sensible rider, but he does ride hard sometimes. And I don't think they lasted him many miles, to be honest. I can't remember how many miles they lasted, but... And not only that, I think they look, they look, they look cool. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I think they look really nice. Um, Audi! So yeah, what do you guys recommend? I've got, it's a, it's me bandit. Uh, I don't know if any of you out there got bandits or have had bandits in the past, but I think I only had, my old bandit, I only had battle axes on them, and to be honest, I haven't really known every di any different, or, you know. Other than on my off-road bike, obviously. But, I haven't really done any different. So I was wondering if any of you could recommend me any different tyre. I definitely am trying the diamonds, and I'll give a review of what I think. But like I say, because I don't know any different to battle axes, I couldn't tell, you know, to me, these handle beautifully. Purely because I haven't tried anything different. So they're going to handle well, until you get on something else, like my diamonds, and I go, fucking hell, I really can handle this well. So yeah, um, just give me some feedback on what you reckon will be a good tyre to try next. Oh, just heading into town. No reason, just thought I'd come out and make another vlog, obviously, wash me bike. Dry it off. Uh, yeah, I've got me, uh, finally got my drift gear. I don't know whether you can see that. I've finally got that on. I haven't turned it on yet. I didn't realise it wouldn't auto-sync every time you turn the camera on. I mean, I think it might. It might do. I don't know. I just haven't tried it. I can't see. Mm. Yeah, we... Oh, I was towed home yesterday on my DRZ400. That was fun. One of the plugs had come out. That spark plug, the, uh... I don't know. Oh, where you put oil in? I don't know. Um... So that came out. It must have vibrated loose or been left loose. I'm not too sure. But, uh, yeah, we decided, well, I looked below me. It's been for a Ford, down a green line, for a Ford, pissing out oil. I thought, where's this oil coming from on the floor? Oh, it's only coming from my bike. So, yeah, my mate told me we had a ratchet strap and a piece of rope. Just a thin piece of blue rope, you know, you know the ones. Um, so we were using that, and we 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 did about four or five miles. And to be honest, it was a lot less daunting than I thought it would be. If any of you ever been towed, it, I mean, whether it was because the bike was easy to do, oh, police station, whether it was because the bike was easy to do, I'm tow, I'm not sure. But yeah, we did that. And to be honest, the cars were absolutely fantastic. We had one car. He let us out, pull out. He saw what was going on. Let us pull out a junction. He followed us. Got to have been two miles. Two miles, he followed us. 
with his hazards on. You know. And then even that, when he pulled off and pulled into where he was going, we had a lady behind us who followed us. And uh, she going across roundabout, she actually defended us. She uh, blocked any traffic coming past. He decided they wanted to go in a rush, which was fantastic. And then we got home, and I thought, I thought to myself, oh, why don't we go down the, around the block a few more times? Because it was that easy. But like I say, the DRZ has the whole front, the whole front to tow onto, you know, beyond Bay Forks. So as long as you're stuck behind him, you know, the one who was towing you, you'd be absolutely fine. Uh, oh dear. Oh, I've been there for a few drinks before now. I've been there for a lot of drinks before now. Um, so yeah, it's quite, you know, it's quite easy to do. And now, I thought it'd need an oil change, the engine flushing, the oil changed about two or three times. But I took it down the mechanics, and he said, just get a plug, just change the oil. Can you hear that? There's a car behind me. His bass is vibrating my bike. Noisy, son. Give it a little dance. A little dance. <laughs> um, so, yeah. He goes, just change oil. I goes, and my mates told me to stress that it had been through mud and it might have had dirt in it. But he said, nah, it just, it, it, it's made to blow stuff out, not suck it in so uh basically i did that and it um it was you know i just got to change oil and i thought oh thank god for that so he i said even if you go for a foot that's up to your chest he goes yeah he goes i wouldn't even doubt it for a second he goes just change the oil in a week or so change your oil again so that's what i'm doing so anyway, yeah, this is the second matter vlog. I don't know whether to upload it straight after my, the one I'm uploading, I'm, well, the one before, or whether to upload it tomorrow. Because I think Carl Micah does that. And he's, he's brilliant, he is. You know, he's gave me some good feedback. It's called Piver Road. This is a rather steep road, this is. Uh, yeah, oh, get out of the way of the gritter. Run away! Lucky. Uh, so yeah, Carl Micah. He's one to watch. So yeah, I mean, it's a good way of doing it if you're busy in the week. That's what I might do. I'm hoping I'll get a few more views. and Hopefully these ones are a bit shorter. And I'll, uh, I'll talk to you again soon. I just have to say, I have got to, I have got to be able to take the, you know, click and stop recording less cheesily or edit the video because 